Hi, my name is Ricardo Vera from the Cisco Tag Firewall team. In this video, I explain how to reimage a Cisco Secure Firewall Threat Defense for 1000, 2100, and 3100 series. The requirements for this procedure are a serial cable connected to the console port of the device, connectivity from the management interface to a remote storage server, an FTD installation package already uploaded to the remote storage server. First, we need to log into the firewall device using the console cable. Once we have access, type connect local management admin to access to the management system. Type format everything and when prompted, type yes to confirm the procedure. The firewall is going to proceed with the erasure of the current operative system and it is going to reboot afterwards. Once the system reboots, you need to interrupt the boot up process with the escape key to load Roman mode. Now that we are at Roman mode, we need to configure the network settings to reach the TFTP server. The syntax for this consists on writing the field we are configuring along with an equal sign and the desired value. We are going to start with the IP address, then the net mask, and finally the gateway. On the server field, we need to add the IP address of the TFTP server that contains our image. Finally, we need to write down the name of the installation package we are going to use for this reimage procedure. Type set to save these configurations. The command also provides us a preview of the configurations we have entered in case we need to make an adjustment. Now we need to type the command sync to apply these configurations. Type the command tftp-b to boot the threat defense software image. If the connection between the TFTP and the firewall is successful, you must see several exclamation marks that represent the download progress of the installation package. After the apply and boots up, it prompts a login screen. The default credentials are user admin with password admin123. After the initial login, it is asked to enter a new password. Please make sure to use a password that contains at least 8 characters and uses one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, and one special character. Now it is time to reconfigure the management IP address. For this, please type scope fabric interconnect A and then set the new management IP with the command set out of band static IP, filling the network fields with your specific parameters. After configuring the command, type commit buffer to apply these changes. It is time to download the Threat Defense Application Software Package. To do this, please type scope firmware and then type download image along with your remote storage path to start the download. For this step, you can use FTP, SCP, SFTP, and TFTP as remote storage servers. If the download is successful, an output is going to be displayed on the screen showing the progress of the task. Once the download finishes, you can use the command show download task to validate the status of the download. Use the command show package to validate that the installation package is available for install. We need to proceed with the installation now. For that, type scope auto install to move to the installation domain. To proceed with installation, type the command install security pack version, your package version, force. Type yes to confirm the software packages that are going to be installed on your device. Type yes to proceed with installation. The installation is going to start now and can take up to 45 minutes to finish. 
you can use the command show detail to review the installation progress. When the installation finishes, the show detail output is going to look similar to the one displayed on the screen. You can now connect to the FTD console by typing connect FTD. Once you see the prompt to access the end user license agreement, you can continue with your initial setup instructions to configure your FTD. Thanks for watching.